16, 25-20. And technically, you can say that both sets, the Lady Jet Spikers played from behind. Maaga nga lang, Totoo pero yan. they played from behind. Pareho-pareho ng story, mas, ma mas late nga lang yung hapol nila rito sa second set. But still, coming from behind. Doon sa unang set, the turnaround happened after the first technical timeout. Here in the second set, after the 25th point. 14-11, lamang Lady Warriors na pa-timeout si Coach Jasper Jimenez. After he called timeout, biglang umarangkada ang kanyang team. And eventually, suddenly the score tilted in their favor. Oh. They had a 7-set point advantage. Hindi na nakabangon ang team ng Lady Warriors, lalong-lalo na doon sa huling service error nitong si Shishi Dada. The Lady Jets Vikers on a nice mood, a nice high right now. Nakikita mo, if you're watching on TV or online, iba body language. Na? Oh, and lalo na sa amin, sa pananaw namin nila Coach Ronnie dito, at saka kasama natin si Pawi, makikita mo talaga the energy is infecting everyone, Coach Ronnie, from the fans, the Lady Jets Vikers, to the players as we see some numbers. Better attack numbers para dito sa Lady Warriors, but still not enough. And once again, makikita natin dito yung reception nila. Talagang lumaylay pagdating sa dulo. Black points supposedly that works in their favor being the better blocking team. But the Lady Jet Spikers getting one point better than them. All in all, it's not about the numbers anymore. It's about the effort. It's about the fighting hearts. Hearts that they showed in that game to win. Because sa ngayon, a two-set hole is a hard deficit to overcome. Pero pa isa isang puntos. Paisa isang rally. They have to live through this set to send this match into a fourth set. DJ Tronics here inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. Not this heart, but that pride. Tabi mo nga, kiniliti ni Coach Jasper. At the right time. Oh. What a great story for both teams. One perennial contender, champion team. One perennial underdog. And a, you know, a team that is taken for granted by a lot, overlooked, they overlooked, and now they are one set away from a second finals appearance, and they're looking. Gusto rin bawi an yung nagpat tumalo sa kanila in that uh, finals, which were the Lady Warriors. This is a team that only won two games in uh, ten matches in yeah. the Reinforced Conference, dead last in a field of six. Talking about Philippine Air Force. Yes. And uh, stuck in quicksand, ito mga paa ng uh, Lady Warriors so far. But the good news, again, huulitin natin yan, it takes three sets to win, right? So the Lady Jet Spikers, kailangan nila rin ibukbog sa utak nila ay malayo pa to. At kaya pa. Malayo pa. The only difference is, in their game two win, they won the first set of that match, lost the next two sets before overcoming the Jet Spikers in the last two. But Ito see, naman, talo sila sa unang set at natalo muli sa pangalawang set. You see how slow a little the, the movement is? Coach Rico, ayun, transition, napatayo, oh. Yung transition na tinatawag. Kasi hindi madali bumalik sa formation. Eh. But you have to be able to do it para mabuhay yung rally at umaba. At makapalo ka ulit. Semana. Cayetano. Blanca. Sarado. And a 3-0 lead early here in set number three. Coach Rico, napapayo ko na lang. That will be the fifth kill block para dito sa Jet Spikers. Versus four para dito sa Lady Warriors. Who only had one in that set two loss. That is in. Check ball. Check ball. First point. For the Lady Warriors, stops a 3-0 run to open up the third set para dito sa Dead Spikers. Kinakailangan magising ang Lady Warriors. Ang kumayod. Oo, oh, doble kayo, triple kayo para manatiling buhay. Ito lamang set na to, kailangan mag-survive sila. Oh. Get a good run just for their morale muna. Yes, no? yes. Kasi yun yung mababa ngayon. Eh. When doubts creep in, that is the hardest thing to really fight through. Kaya kailangan, kailangan malabanan mo. Natural na papasok. Natural yan. Pero kailangan manaig yung uh, desire mo to, to overcome and perform. The hero of game number two, Kanaga. Yonko from behind. That's too wide. Now three. And, tied, yep. and they come up with three straight points. At pinaalala ni Coach Jasper. Oh, tatlo na. Pinamigay natin. Hihil na yan. Ito na yung best scoring run para sa Lady Warriors dating back to that 14-11 lead 
and set number two. Spanaga. Good serve. Casas receiving. Tinulak pa kabila. And they go to Pablo from behind. Semana goes back to Mayan. Oh, that was going to sail out, I think, Coach. I don't know if you agree with me. From palabas. That angle. Parang ano, palabas. At saka pag kinuha mo sa gilid, kadalasan, mahaba. Pero si Pantino, ginawa ng paraan. Hindi madali yung pasa ni Wendy at si Manan. But once again, simple effort play ang kinakailangan para makapalo at makatransition ng maayos. De Leon, Chris Ostomo. Hindi na sumapit sa net. Si Mana, trying to wait for all ang ating talaan. Balikan natin si Pauwi or Sosomo. Human Coach Ronnie, I'm sure pinakakilala si Giselle si hindi lang bilang team captain ng Lady Wars, kundi bilang best setter na rin nung siya ay naglalaro pa sa UAAP. Pero alam nyo ba, na nagsimula si Giselle maglaro at the very young age of seven, back in her hometown in Novaleta, Cavite. And ayon kay Giselle, sa mga bukid-bukid pa lang daw siya naglalaro noon. And past time lang niya talaga yung volleyball. Pero nung siya ay nag-high school na, nag-decide na nga siya na sasaryosohin na niya yung pag-volleyball, which led her um, to getting into her high school's varsity team and led to her exposure in the Palarong Bamansa and sa UAS. Pero bilang natapos na nga si Giselle sa kanyang collegiate career, sabi niya na hindi naman daw mawawala yung volleyball sa kanyang long-term plans. And in the words of Giselle, volleyball ang nakapagtapos, nakapagsustay, at nakapag-provide ng career para sa akin. So maglalaro ako hanggang sa makakaya ko. Human Coach Rani. I remember nung uh, rookie siya, Pawi, when everybody was calling her the promising Giselle C. <laughs> Eventually became, yun nga, uh, best setter and also left the school for, diba, for a year yep, for personal reasons came back wanting to give FU a championship but it wasn't meant to be gusto niya sana yung kanyang pag-alis eh, katulad ng pag-alis ni Wendy at si Mana yes. kanilang legendary setter 2008 nag-MVP na nag-champion pa now setter as an MVP <laughs> the last one. Di Ryan, kasi si Wendy can dominate the game with her playmaking. At saka, ano to eh. Um, nakakaduro ng kalaban. Diba? Yung actuations niya, simple pero can take your confidence away. Remember, she was up against Saratika in that series, of course. So, hindi pipichugin. <laughs> <laughs> Who incidentally is still playing. Yeah. Part of uh, our semi-final uh, roster. Pablo Sarado, ganda nung uh, harang na uh, itinayo. Ito si Del Palamata. Dito naman sa kabila wow. sinala. Nakuha pa rin ang kaliwang kamay. Grabe naman yung save ni uh, Pantino. Uh, Pablo shifts from the middle, from the strong side to the middle, then back to the open position. Ito yung transition place na sinasabi natin. And she has to move quicker and faster to a different position para lang mapasag yung depensa ng Jets Pirates. Ito mo yung down the line niya. Grabe yung margin of error. Kanto, kanto talaga. Oh. Oh. Ganun kabigat yung depensa ng Jets Pirates para dun pa niya padaanan. Pero mapigat din pumalo itong si Iayonko. They give the Lady Jets Pirates a one-point lead going into the first technical timeout of set number three. Pagpapalik po tayo dito sa Deloyal Flying V Center. Nagsasaya ang mga fans ng inyong paborito Premier Volleyball League. Masaya ang Lady Jets Fighters. They have a one-point lead and a two-sets to love lead. Ang hindi masaya, si Coach Rico. Hindi talaga. Pero hindi pa naman lubos na kalungkutan yung kanilang nararamdaman. Kailangan matanggal yung ulap ng mga duda sa kanilang mga isipan. This is a team that has not lost Three finals appearances, looking for their fourth straight appearance in a title battle, looking for their fourth straight round. It's a quick setup by C. That Managa Bang's able to put it away to tie the match at eight. Once again, you cannot uh, overemphasize the value of the first ball para makapunta ka sa yung mga quick plays. Miss receive. Wow, Pantino still getting something out of it. Bilis na mata nitong si Mehan Pantino. 
alanganin yung bola, walang problema. Bago siya pumalo, alam na niya kung saan niya dadalim. Actually, coach, ang bilis niya, period. Totoo Kanina, nagahabol din siya ng bola <laughs> from one side to, the, to another. But he has played really well here in the semis. Lumusot. Casas couldn't get to it. Tapping and Pantino were there to block. Kirian tayo dito sa set number three. Nine all, the running attack from Ned Panaga. Pet move ito si Akans Panaga. That's light play. Nice reception. First ball leading to this. Attack and put away para kay Pantino. Solid first ball by Casas. 24 points. First two matches, itong si Pantino. 59 points through the first seven games in the elimination round. Under 10 points. But 12 points per game here in the semis, itong si Mayan Pantino. And Panaga starting to heat up. Kinakailangan. Pag hindi sumipa yung laro ni Panaga at hindi nakapasok yung puntos ni Kasilag, may hirapan. Dahil si Myla Pablo lang yung talagang babantay. Ang gayong si Sisi Dadang ay wala na rin sa loob. Jesse De Leon ngayon ang ginagamit. At si Phil Kainglet Cayetano. Yes. Panaga. Nako. Three points. Yun ang pinakamatinding description doon. Nako. Kasi talagang deflating yan eh. Yep. Just as you're getting a little bit of rhythm, not even full momentum. Konti-konti pa lang. Jesse gets it through. Tabla tayo, 11 all. The pride of uh, USD. Saints ko, tapos USD. Si Phil ah, Kainglet naman. Saints ko, tapos Ateneo. No? Nakasama nila Mika. Right. Mga kulasa. Yes. Ang tawag dyan. Yes. Casas. Short swing of Casas. Very Grabe. effective. Picture perfect. The preparation, the gather, the wind up, the follow through. Jay Casas has also stepped up three notches higher with, with her performance. From the start, oh, from the start, oh, Kanina, oh. Coach Ron. 57 points heading into the semifinals. Ang kanyang total scoring output is about number 26 in the competition. One thing good about Casas, also a double threat on offense and on defense. Double, double to per game halos para dito sa team ng uh, Jets Spikers. Topic sends her serve to the net. Look at that first ball of Galing, Casas ano? again. Sabay siya pa ang papalo. Kabila, Pablo. Bumalik. Oh, Giselle C going for the one-two play. Casas there. Melissa Guhing. Pablo na naman. Hinabol ni Semana. Yonko mula sa likod. Guhing was there. Pablo muli. Cross court. Palmaceda was there. Kileon. Exciting rally here in the third. And that's it. And guess who it was? 13, the Gazelle wow. once again dominating that rally. I thought Mel Gohing was superior sa kanyang depensa dun sa mahabang palitan na yon. But here, even against the double block, no one home. Kantong kanto, beating itong si Elaine Casilag. Sabi ni Coach Rico, habulin mo muna. But yun nga yung sinasabi ko, Coach Ron, napapansin natin, bigat ang paa. Oh, this, this game. Oh, look at that. Pinaon. They need that. They need impact points. And that is the most emphatic attack na nakita ko kay Myla Pablo. Look at this. Look at the facial expression and the put away mula kay Bagyong Pablo. Could be a sense of desperation right now. Para dito sa team ng Lady Warriors, hindi lang gustong makarating sa finals. Gusto mo na manalo dito sa set na ito. Hindi oh. mo pwede muna isipin finals ngayon. Oops. That's out. Yonko looking for a check. Nope, says our... First referee, 14-13. First taste of the lead para dito sa Lady Warriors dating back to that 6-5 uh, lead early here in the third. Dito sa part ng ito, ng uh, first two sets sila, kinakambyuhan ng Jets yan. Bikers. Tama. Pablo hinihingi. Pero sabi ni Panaga, ako muna. Pahinga ka muna. It was a 14-11 count in the second set in favor of the Lady Warriors. Before that 10-1 run was uh, initiated by the Jet Spikers. Pero sa ngayon, 2.2 hawak ng Lady Warriors at 15-13. Better offense para sa kanila at better transition defense na nakikita natin from the white shirts. Nice serve. 
Semana keeps it alive. Casas, easy over. C. Balike Panaga. Smart move by Giselle. What a set by the former San Antonio de Padua College High School standout to give them a three point lead, 16 13. The second technical timeout. At the service zone for Pocari Sweat. Live and exclusive coverage. And a back to back hits by Pablo Panaga. Pangalong Banat para kay Pangs for a three point lead, 16 13. And again, now this is that rhythm that we're talking about. They're getting yes. a little. Now the, the challenge para sa kanila, e patuloy tuluyin ito. And Coach Jasper senses that rhythm. So after the technical timeout, timeout kaga siya after the first point. Yung first goal natin, katulad na sinabi ko, ha? Huwag nyo sabayan si Pablo. Kasi pag sinabayan nyo, malikot ang kamay. Pag paunahin nyo lang pero yung town, ilak ko. At yung ano man, ano? Sa ganyan ko, si Paga mo humabol. Okay? Problema natin ngayon, kaya tayo nag-timeout. Doon na tayo first goal. First goal tayo. Para makapag-play tayo. Okay? Ah, masukan mo. Masukan mo, makakuha ka ng blocker mo. Para ka buwan mo, ha? Sige, ano yung tindang blocker mo doon? One guy who deserves another crack at the that trophy is that coach. <laughs> Especially after uh, being mired in the cellar. It's adding uh, reinforced confidence. And right now, for Coach Jasper, you don't want to awake a sleeping giant. Uh, we are sensing right now that na nagigising na yung diwa dito at ulirat ang Lady Warriors. Too soft. Pablo. Humihingi ulit. Binigay na naman. Kumampyo. Semana nandun. Balmaceda will set it for Yonko. It's too close. And the miscommunication. Misset. So, Casas tries to take advantage. Kasilag. Pablo, umangat, Palmaceda, inangat ang bola. Ooh. Free ball, si Panaga. That's great anticipation by the net defense, starring Palamata and Cassis. Stops a 4-0 run para dito sa Lady Warriors. Sometimes it's not, it's not just about offense, it's about defense. Pablo got a little tired from that rally. Naman, ilang beses tumalon, ilang beses tumabol para... Kapatay ng bola at bumuhay bola para sa depensa. What a shoot. As previous conference with a back injury. Yes. Knee issues. is weighed by Phil Kainglet. Good trade points. Eh, si Coach Rico naman ang tatawag. Kailangan eh. Mahirap. Tigilan na ng momentum ang laban dito. Relax na. Relax. Easy. Alam mo na. Okay, magmadali. Huwag yung pabayaan. Aggressive na naman tayo. Lamang pa tayo ng dalawa. Receive mo na. Receive. Sino na nag-receive? Ikaw tsaka si... Bill. Tulong may sa receive. Huwag yung bitawan yan. Sam, lamang pa tayo ng dalawa. Nakakasabay naman tayo sa atake. Kinaprape mo natin. Receive. I-maintain nyo. Tuloy-tuloy tayo. Angat, angat. Let's go. Hey, offer who? Offer who? Very uh, important part of this set. Ito na yan. Ito na yan. Ay, Coach Rico. It's either makakakapit sila. They get into the 20 point, point mark earlier than the Jet Spikers. So, hahabuli na naman yung lamang nila rito. Na ayaw ni Lovely Nolasco. Gusto niya. Dire-direcho. Go Air Force. Go for the strike. Ports. Ang lakas ng Jet Spikers. Ito na nga. Abol Pocari, Sweat, Lady Warriors, Kaya Nguyen, defend the crown. Again, Pablo gets shut down at the net in that sequence. Four straight points earlier para sa Lady Warriors to build a 17-13 lead. Three straight points naman ang kinambu dito ng Jet Spikers. Make that... Make that four. Ito na naman. Ito na yung tinatawag nilang monkey on the back. Right, right. Ito na naman eh. Creeping up on you, nararap daman mo yung. And you feel, you feel double the pressure oh. right now, dahil 
Mauulit na naman ba sa pangatlong sunod na pagkakataon? Nice over na eh. Kamalyeo, a spark from the service wow, line. Wow, wow, wow. And the lead. Pumalik na sa Lady Jet Spikers courtesy of the veteran beach volleyball, indoor volleyball, <laughs> former UST standout Judy Caballero. And again, it was that timely ceasefire na tinawag ni Coach Jasper Jimenez to stop the beat. And take away the momentum. Free ball. Going. And an easy over. Simana, tinuro. Si Yonko. Wow. 6-0 run. Abe. 5-0 run, rather, from 17-14. Tama, 17-13. 13. Oh, so 6-0 run, counter run. In the last 10 points, apat na sunod kinuha ng Lady Warriors. Anit naman. Narapido ang ibinulsa. Sabi natin. That's Spikers. Sabi natin, at a very crucial point of the set, Pablo. Nayangat. Yung kumbola, oy. Crisostomo and Caballero. Caballero called it. I think My, so. Yeah, I oh, heard oh. it. Yeah. Pero alam mo naman ang trabaho ng libero. Unahan sa paghabol ng bola. Eh. <laughs> At buntik nang maitira ni Caballero. Kala ko lilipat si Crisostomo <laughs> sa kabila. Eh. Sabihin ko sana sa ating first referee. Gib. <laughs> so that stops the bleeding, Coach Ronnie. Good break para dito sa white shirt. Right. Kasilag. They need more from her, from, uh, from Elaine. Pantino, bumalik. Semana, tinuro kay Mayan Ganda ng ulit. pasa. Ganda ng pasa. Kasilag, mababa. Walang buwelong nakukuha sa Elaine Kasilag sa laro niya. At walang sigla. Walang sigla. Makita mo sa preparasyon. Makita mo na tentative. She's been, she's been off this whole match. Saka walang pawis po. Oh, oh, even sa reception, di ba kanina, coach? Hindi siya nakakapunta sa tamang pwesto. May araw talagang ganun. Yes, and they need her. She scored 12 points in game number two. One of three players in double figures. But only good for two points in game one. Oh. In that loss. Seven talo sila noon. Ni Panaga, di kaalawa lamang. Gino, nakalusot. They needed that. They needed that badly. 19 will be serving 20. Looking to hold, looking to hold on. Both coaches only having a timeout each. At kita mo, kagatan ng ipin ito. <laughs> Oo, oh, ito ang hirap kuminga niyan. Simana, ginawan pa rin ang paraan. Sa likod, Pablo. Abanto yung kabaleo, nagkahiyaan. Free ball. Na-frustrate yun si Wendy at Simana. Nagawa ng paraan, Gino, spark after that substitution kay Kasilag, two straight points for Heather. Too close to the net. Gino with a push. Simana hindi na umabot. C, 20 all. Dig-digan dito sa ating third set. What a set by Semana to tapping. Very good first ball. After two consecutive disconnected plays. This is a big comeback para dito sa team ng Jet Spikers and they hold on to a one-point cushion. See, quickly to Panaga. Fighting for their semi-final lives. <laughs> this is the first dogfight that we're seeing all the way late in the set. Baga, all or nothing na to para sa Lady Warriors. Banks knows it. Pantino. C. Balik kay Heather. And that's out. Heather has been great after that substitution. Kay Elaine Casilan. Two critical points para kay Ginoo. Or three. Critical points para dito kay Gino. And as we mentioned earlier, she has really played well during the semis with limited floor time. Down at 20-18, now on top at 22-21. Champions won't go away. Simana opens to Pantino. Bumalik ang bola. Balmaceda for coverage. Pantino na naman. That will move out. Yung mga ganun. Balasa ng bola, no? Hindi mo alam kung mahulog sa talaga sa'yo o sa kabila. Semana, 
putting uh, her fate in Pantino who delivers the tying uh, point. At siya rin ang magsaserve. Coach Ronnie at, at si Joy Casas naman. Kasamang po may magbabalik na yan sa na front rin. line. Look at that loaded front line para dito sa Jet Spikers. Yan oh! Ang, yan, oh! Ang, yan ang kadiagonal. Grabe yung serve na yun ni Pantino. Service ace, Pablo. In between two players ng Lady Warriors. Crucial, expensive error. Look at that service ace again. Pinadaan, pinadaan sa gitna nung nasa harap at nasa likuran. 23-22. In the hands of Mayan Pantino. Ooh. It's received once again. Pagkakataon, Semana with the one-two play. Cayetano sends it over. Semana, Cases, balik ang bola. Semana, balik kay... And that one is wide for Joy. For a check ball, but clearly that was out. Will Kang let Cayetano playing well late here in the set. And warning it. First referee, Udenosa. We'll talk to uh, Cassius there. It's crucial yung palito na ito. Ang mga na match point already point. para sa Jet Spikers. Instead, we have uh, Lady Warriors. An opportunity for them to take the lead. But it will be the Lady Jet Spikers on offense. Oh. Not anymore. And timeout, Coach Jasper. As Abanto could not handle it. Very tentative. Nervous reception yes, there. Little na little, yeah. No? Underhand, overhand. From one FEU player to another, right? <laughs> Isang maganda, patay. Tapos, uh, ano na yun? Ha? Kapita natin, kapita natin. Para bibitaw. Ito pa, ngayon pa tayo bibitaw. Ha, kapit, kapit. Two sets to love. Yan po ang alamangan ng Lady Jet Spikers, the Lady Warriors. Hanging on just to extend this into a set number four. 23 22. The mga Jet Spikers. Attack error para kay Joy Cases. And then a reception failure para dito kay Aban. Set point hawak dito ng Lady Warriors here in the third set. You know, Matt, sorry, that is set point, not match point. And they extend it. The champions, the three time champions. Did that come from Myla Pablo? Not from Panaga. But it came from an unlikely source. And that spark was contributed heavily by Heather Gino. And we will go into a fourth. Exacto yung pagpalit ni Coach Rico kay Elaine Casilag. And you know the spark to extend this to a set number four. Boy pa ang Lady Warriors.